Sup folks, StuGG here with another episode of One Shot. In the last one we combined a bunch of things, end up getting our hands on the gas mask, the rubber gloves, a strange journal, sponge, ball of smoke, and an empty shrin syringe, excuse me. And what we're trying to do now is we just read a bunch of stuff about we need liquid phosphor, which then will let us take the syringe, the syringe, I hate that word. Inject into the bottle of smoke, shake vigorously with the, while wearing the rubber gloves, and we get to make a acid. So what we need to do is figure out where we actually can use the, the syringe to get the liquid. But we're running around the gas mask area right now. I think we need actually need to go talk to Silver who was the engineer for the the one place, but where are we now? We can actually, actually, her stuff should be just over here. We'll just hoof it instead of fast traveling. Because was this her little house? Yes. Need any further assistance? Oh. I disagree, I think we need more. But I needed... Oh, sorry, I left the cursor on the screen. I hate that I do that. Ow, I got shocked. I told you not to touch it. Jeff made me. <laughs> okay, so then where am I supposed to fill this sucker up? Oh, I think I know. Hold up. Hold up. Travel to the swamp. Where is that bubble? Because it said we need to funnel. Yes. Gross. Okay. So now we combine that. Yeah, so shake it. It changed color. But now we have a bottle of acid. Okay, I don't know. I'm just combining things now because I'm scared not to. So I've got a wet sponge. So the question is, what am I supposed to be cleaning? Did I ever look up here? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, let's fast travel again. You wanna be clean, sir? Nope, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you twice. Let's fast travel to the docks. Do we just clean that busted up robot? Down a little bit further, I think? Yeah. Do we clean you, sir? It doesn't look like you're rusted, per se. I think you need a battery. Or maybe he was just rusted. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Jeff helped me. Oh, maybe we just needed the generator. But yeah, hello, nice to meet you. Oh, all the robots were probably dead in the area until we turned that generator on because the electromagnetic field powered robots. I am robot. So they spell like that because he's, he rows boats. I'm robot 310, would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. We'll find a way to help. Oh, okay. We'll find a way to help him. Yeah, we will. So we, we've created a solution to a problem that we didn't realize there was yet. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen Port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I can now follow my programming. Aw, uh, is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay. I, I always hit the wrong button. But we wanna go to Lookout Point. 
and talk to her again. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. All right. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently, Jeff and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. Let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Ooh. Fancy. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Sorry, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake here. Oh, thank you. I want to talk to her. Do you know how to play chess? I do. Well, well sort of. I played with some older kids before. They want you to play a game with me. I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. So are we going to play chess? You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Ah. So, what's it like being a robot and all? I've talked to the I've talked to other robots and they all say there's something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. <laughs> Alright, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you also. She was a nice robot. There's no real reason for us to linger in the Barons. But like, what about this? I feel like we need, we still, we're supposed to do something here. Safety violation. Okay. So there's still something going on there. Maybe we end up coming back here to the Barons, who knows. But for now, let's go to the docks. Always hit the wrong thing, travel. Can't travel right now. Oh, because technically I was inside the mines. Travel to... Docks. And then we will give him the amber. Oh, this is amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system, setting course. Wait, this boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, but I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore or this gas mask and gloves. Really? That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Well, if we come back here, I guess we better not need to go into any of those areas. What did we learn from the dormitories that was important? Oh, that's where we get the syringe and talk to... I guess we talked to a few people, but that was it. But now we can't get back there without the gas mask. Here's your stop. The Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes, I must return to my station, but you'll be all alone again. It's okay, I have not been tamed. That's kind of depressing. Well, I can't go back there. So whatever I was supposed to, like, if there was anything to do in those mines, 
Maybe I that's a subsequent playthrough or something like that, or maybe we go back later. I guess we should walk in this door. Some water. Oh, that's bright. It's very different than the place we just came from. There's the tower. It looks like the next zone over that wall and such. Whoop! Ah, I didn't want to go. In, I wanted to go in that door. Thank you. Now we're on the other side. I guess there's nothing down there anyway. No, oh, I'm getting the hiccups. Stop. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Is that a person? Are you seeing people? What's up here? Oh, it's like a whole town. Ring and ding. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what mama always says. Sorry, I wasn't reading that. Ringing all the bells. I wonder if that's a... I'm gonna ring every single bell. Hold on. You know that's a puzzle, right? At some point, I'm gonna have to ring all those bells in order. Right now, I just want to hit them all. Just to see if it's like an achievement or something. I saw you trying to sneak up on me. Bye. Right. Well, I hit a bunch of bells. Who are you? The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surplus will last. Please, savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. Okay? Let me start ro can I rob all your houses? Oh my gosh. There we go. It's very finicky about letting me in. Some jars. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not allowed to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Like moss. I guess people can eat those. Coals. Just a jar. Oh. Ah, dang it. This land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day that this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. I wish I got like a better view of these people. Wow, is that the sun? Yeah. And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Alright, I guess we'll start going through every house. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. How's everyone? Well, I guess I'm carrying the light bulb. Oh, I can't go in that one. Can I sneak in from the top? Nope. That was just no go. Let's talk to you. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land, and water... Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Can't go in that one. Can't go in that one. But I guess a lot of these weren't actually... open. Talk to you. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Jeff can make it better again. Are you Jeff? Uh, no, uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Jeff, though. Wow, what's that like? Really cool. How do they know who I am? I don't like that. You shouldn't know who I am. I'm not going to search every jar. That seems... Ah. I, I'm holding up when I go through those doors, and then when I come out, it immediately puts me back in, is, is what's happening there, in case you're wondering. Okay, so I can't go into that side. Have I gone in this one? Last week, I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. Squares? Squares, man, they're bad news. I think that was like the glitch I saw when we opened that safe. We already talked to you, yes? Yeah, we already talked to you. Didn't go in this one yet. Oh my god, this guy's got a lot of jars. This is it, the last of our grand surpluses, and now we're dealing with the vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats. Not that I'm a cat, I mean. Went in that one. Already talked to them, yes. Definitely went in here, yes. 
Okay, so that's all of them. Let's click on one of these sheep ram things. <laughs> They're just bleeding at me. Hold on. How do we get down? Okay, there's a little path right here. Talk to this guy. The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It'll probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Uh, I was going to say, doesn't one of our sun elevate the, the growth rate? I guess not. Okay, so I, I'm looking over, my CPU's ramping up again, and I'm trying to look at the recording, and it looks like it's juddering, or stuttering. I hope that's not the case. I don't know if I need to get in there, but I can't. Maybe I need to stop running. Oh. That guy was alarmed by the bell. Hey ya! This guy's got an actual character portrait. You here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Do we have something like that, Jeff? I want to give that amber back. Do you want this strange journal? <laughs> I like. I feel bad. I don't want to offer the amber. Yeah. There's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish the guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Okay, so that's the guy who's missing. Whoa, that's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles. Mostly empty glass bottles. Glass bottles filled with different things. Bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, fabric scraps, a rusty bucket, scrap metal shells, some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. So they've got fireflies in jars. Keep ringing bells. This looks like an altar. Okay. A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Some kind of cloak or shawl folded neatly. A staff reminds me of the one the robot from the Barons was holding. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Okay. I need to ring this bell. I don't know why I do, but I do. Talk to this guy. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. Squeeze past that? Yes, but no points. Okay. Everything in your jars? Sorry, I didn't read that. So I'm tabbing out for just a second. Like I said, I'm worried about it. I don't know why my CPU is ramping up like it is. It's not maxing out. So hopefully... I'm going to feel bad if these recordings are all are all messed up. The door is full of vines, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I could see that too. Thanks. But I need something that will cut vines. Keep running around. We gotta find something eventually, right? Ooh, who are you? Hello. Hmm. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some rams do back home. You just kind of push them around. Hmm. But you are carrying the sun. Ah. Wait, can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. I'm um, okay. Come back when your hands are free. You'll be warded if you can herd my rams. So I didn't think about... Mm, we'll see if this does something. It's like an... Oh, okay. I was seeing if I could place the light bulb on the altar. Okay, apparently not though. Jeff, no. <laughs> I was going to trade him the light bulb. 
He's gonna give me shiny things. I need to free up my hands somehow. Aha. Hold on, there's no one to ring. Oh no, I'm back in town. Crowds have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our supplies will last. Please save her, you have to hurry. I'll do my best. We already talked to them. Okay. So what's the next way to go? Can we go up anywhere? Doesn't look like it. We've gotten the dock, the ruins, and the village. This takes us back to the dock. We haven't explored to the right, and we haven't gone through like these buildings and stuff yet. Hello. There's a time when our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know? Now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. More coals, what do you got for me? A fish stew. Let's say, can I have your fishing pole? Looks like not. Can I sleep in your bed? Okay. Talk to this guy. Hmm, nothing's biting. Where you talk to her? All right, so this seems like another bridge to whoop, another new area. Alula, Alula, where did you go? Jeff, did you hear that? Alula, I think it's coming from southeast of here. Southeast. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you, and wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? I, yeah. Oh, my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? It's all right. Are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but what does she look like? Uh, a little shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was heading towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. From the village, no. I don't remember why, but our father left the village when we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just a Lua and I now. I can't lose her too. Alright. So in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find a Lua and figure out what's going on in this little area. Like I said, I think we just unlocked a new forest section and they live up in those ruins. But like I said, we will go ahead and call here before we get into too much exploration and we will figure it out next time kind of explore this and see what's going on in the glen we don't really have an idea of what our mission is yet i'm sure that will come to light very quickly you, you get you get you get the pun there come to light the, the game's out bringing the light get it to the tower yep okay you guys get it but if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share the video or subscribe to the channel i'd greatly appreciate it if you do any or all of those three Still enjoying the game. Like I said, I mean, there's no voice acting. There's no real action. It's just running around and figuring stuff out. But it's very interesting. I know I said that pretty much at the end of every episode. But it is interesting. And I, and I seem to like where it's going. And the characters are pretty neat. But I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please have a great day.